Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, first of all, before I start, I'd like to say thank you for all the subscribers and viewers out there. I appreciate it. Uh, this video is a revision to the original Sump Q&A. The audio dropped out partially through for some reason. Uh, this video is also addressing one subscriber's question about the egg crate in my sump. So I'm going to show you guys what I did and how I cut the egg crate. Uh, first of all, I just took a piece of extra glass I had from building the sump. It's quarter inch thick and quarter inch and quarter inch equals a half inch and it gives you a half an inch for the egg crate to rest on I took four pieces I cut four little pieces of it and mounted it to each corner in this little channel um, I'll get you a better picture you can see one two three and four and I used the super glue gel from sump build part two that I showed you guys uh, just put a little glue on each panel and sandwiched it on didn't have to clamp it or anything it sticks almost instantly um, one thing you got to keep in mind, as you guys can see, you can see that glue once it's dried up. So if you're building more of a showpiece, uh, you might want to go about a different method of doing something like this. I built this sump for myself. It's more for functionality and not show. Uh, as you guys know, I like simple and, and you know easy maintenance. So that's exactly what this is. It didn't take long at all to do. Um, go from the bottom of your tank. To how high you want the egg crate to sit and mark it with the sharp ear magic marker right here you do want this to be a couple inches below the top of the first panel here so it is submerged in water i'm just using this to float a bag of carbon so weight wasn't an issue uh, this will definitely hold a few ounces of carbon in there not a big deal if you're going to be putting a ton of weight on something like this you might want to find another way to do it uh, another thing to keep in mind is if you guys uh, don't know how to cut your own glass, there's U YouTube videos out there that will show you how to do it. Uh, and if you do, if not, you can have a local hardware store cut it for you. And another thing is if you guys don't polish the edges here, I would probably recommend putting some silicone around the corners. This way if you ever go in for maintenance or cleaning, you don't, you don't cut yourself and bleed to death because then you guys can't watch any more of my videos. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, once you're your panels are in there and you got your platform for the egg crate to actually sit on take a width measurement and uh, cut your egg crate length you know same thing length wasn't a big issue for me I'm just gonna be floating one single bag of carbon in here so uh, that's pretty much it let me go ahead and take a minute show you guys how I cut the egg crate <clears throat> let me get a scrap piece here and the pliers that I use <clears throat> this here guys is a pair of lineman pliers they're basically needle nose except they have a widened tip on them so uh, there's probably plenty of other ways that people use to cut egg crate this is the way I found the fastest um, so I'm going to just take a quick minute and show you take your pliers put it in there grip it give it just a little twist that little piece see how the pieces sometimes they snap sometimes they break and snap without throwing pieces everywhere sometimes they don't and just for shits and giggles that's basically it sometimes they they make nice clean breaks sometimes they don't they leave little protrusions like this here and if they do you can just take your pliers put them in there work it back and forth and it comes right off. You want a nice clean cut so it don't mess up your final measurement. Um, that's pretty much it guys. If you got some really really sharp scissors it'll probably work. I'm not really sure this is the way I've only really cut it so uh, another thing to keep in mind is you might want to not do this in the living room or something. Uh, like you just seen sometimes it'll throw little bits of the plastic everywhere and the stuff is really really sharp so you don't want a family member or a pet to step on it so you might want to take that out to the garage you know basement somewhere where you can sweep it up shop back it up something like that but uh, that's basically it I hope that addresses uh, some of your questions or concerns out there and uh, I'll put some more videos out there soon hopefully the audio on this one doesn't drop out I'm gonna check it out upload it and then uh, check it out one more time to make sure so thanks a lot for watching guys see ya